The thought of heart surgery is very intimidating. It's something that keeps you up at night. But now that I've gone through it, it really is a life-changing experience. It, it'll, it puts me back to what I've been able to do in the past, and that to me is transformational. So it was about five years ago, my general practitioner um, said he thought he heard a heart murmur. And he said, Jim, I'd like you to connect with the Bloom Cardiac Institute at Northwestern. I met Dr. Davidson a couple of months afterwards, and he said that I had a bicuspid valve. Um, most of us have three leaflets, I had two. He said, Jim, we're gonna monitor this very slowly. But when it gets time to go, go time, we're gonna move very quickly. The defining moment for me I was leaving my office downtown and I was late to catch a train and I was completely out of breath. That to me was the tell that something had dramatically changed. So Mr. Whitney was diagnosed with aortic stenosis. So his aortic valve was calcified tight and restricting blood flow coming out of the heart. So patients typically will have shortness of breath, chest pain or passing out. For Mr. Whitney, he had a very special type of aortic stenosis. He was born with an abnormal valve, a two leaflet valve, otherwise known as a bicuspid aortic valve. Most patients have a three leaflet valve. The bicuspid aortic valves are important because they tend to calcify very, very quickly, which makes it a very interesting question as to whether the patient should get treated with TAVR or minimally invasive AVR. So that's when it's very important for patients to come and see a valvular heart team in order to help the patient decide which is the best mode of therapy. Prior to my surgery, I, I did a lot of investigative work. Uh, I spoke to friends who are in the medical profession. I have clients who are surgeons. All of my research converged upon Northwestern and Dr. Malazari in particular. I felt Dr. Malazari was the right surgeon for me because this is exactly what he does. This is his area of specialization. He's performed over a thousand of these surgeries. And secondly, it is, he is and the hospital is a destination for people that have complex cardiac needs. Traditionally, when we think about open heart surgery for valvular heart disease, we think of the full sternotomy. So if you think back and maybe you could remember an uncle or grandfather or grandmother who had a bypass surgery, that is a full sternotomy incision that goes right down the center of the chest. My preference is to do it through a mini thoracotomy between the ribs, which avoids the sternotomy. New devices have emerged for a procedure called transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR for short. This is a truly minimally invasive procedure. The procedure requires no general anesthesia for our center, percutaneous access, meaning no complete incisions, sometimes home the next day status. So a very quick recovery for patients after TAVR. Dr. Malazier and I talked about a TAVR procedure I pressed him pretty hard for it because it seemed like the easiest way, minimally invasive. And after some deep discussion with him, he thought I wasn't the appropriate candidate for it. There are a couple subgroups of patients which should not be treated with TAVR. The first, the patients who would uh, otherwise require a mechanical valve, that's one. Uh, the second group of patients are patients who don't have the typical senile calcific aortic stenosis in a three leaflet valve and this is what Mr. Whitney had. And finally there's a group of patients that simply are anatomically not suitable for a TAVR. These patients also will do better with an AVR, full sternotomy or minimally invasive. Post-surgery I was in the hospital for four days and I, I have to say that I knew going in, I had one of the world's best surgeons. But I also have to say that the care that I received at this hospital post-surgery was extraordinary. From my surgical intensive care nurse to the step-down unit, from start to finish, I have to say that my experience here at Northwestern Hospital was world-class. 
Mr. Whitney did very well after his minimally invasive AVR. And the first thing to note was he had a perfect result. So the aortic valve was seated very well with zero leakiness. And that's important. There's so many choices now available for therapy. My advice to the patient is to make sure you explore all the options for therapy and make sure that the center that you go to is experienced in each one. To me, Dr. Malazri, he is a very understated man, um, but he changes people's lives in, in extraordinary ways. And I still am trying to think of a way to thank him for what he did for me. I am very, very fortunate to, to have him as my surgeon.